Hey, it's uh, Brian here from GuatLabs.net. I'm going to show you some BG analysis uh, examples I found for MATLAB. Just another way of doing uh, forecasting for different reasons. This is the same methodology they've been using to find the Malaysian uh, airline that went missing. Uh, MH uh, was a 370. So this is the same similar idea on how they uh, narrowed down the search area. Uh, so basically this uh, came in from uh, Stock Exchange and uh, or Stock Overflow and uh, there was somebody posted a query with some data um, and uh, a, 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 a source example that they worked on. This is the one that actually works, this one right here. So let me just run that for you very quickly. Um, loads in the data, uh, this sort of data, no different than probably a time series. You could probably do some forecasting from it. I'm just gonna run the whole thing. Just wanna show people that this this runs. Uh, somebody did ask me why I'm doing this. Um, to be honest, um, let me just finish up here. <coughs> so there is numerous uh, examples here of data that uh, does get calculated. Um, so it looks like it does work. Um, basic stuff. And um, yeah, let me just show you the code again. All right. Uh, so nothing, well, maybe pretty exciting. Um, but uh, as I said, somebody asked me the question of why I'm doing these type of analysis. Uh, at such a high level, a very quick tutorial with no explanation. Um, for those that may have joined us later on or more recently, uh, basically what's been happening is I've been looking at the different, uh, probably about 15 different methodologies to uh, forecast in the markets. There's way more than that, obviously, but they've been uh, narrowed down to about 15. And over the last uh, couple of weeks, I've been just showcasing different examples of those model forecasting types. Um, and uh, I do give examples of where to go to learn this further of each type uh, as well as the actual code that works. So I only work with the examples that has working code and um, why am I doing it at such a high level? Um, basically I have my basic trading system that uh, has the basic plumbing, I guess you'd call it for real time analytic uh, data capture from IT feed as well as the execution simulation or demo mode for uh, interactive uh, brokers, uh, trader, workstation software. So with everything in place now, it's just now obviously focusing on strategy. So I'm, I'm wanting to focus on the ones that show the most promise. And that's what I'm kind of going through right now is just to see all the different types of strategies out there. Namely, um, focusing more that can be used for high frequency trading um, because that may be something may look at down the line. Now, the reason I bring this up is because over the last uh, week or so since I've been looking at these, I've been coming across independent self-contained um, frameworks uh, written in MATLAB. Now, the next example I'm going to show you with a Bayesian is exactly that. Um, and uh, basically it's called uh, BNT. Um, and uh, it, it has more than you can imagine. Now the powerful thing about these type of uh, frameworks is that uh, if we choose to have our end trading system, like what we have now with the simple software of .NET and MATLAB, is just that, simple, easy to work with, and it actually works. Uh, but down the line, if we decided to go, uh, let's say high frequency trading, with some of the capital providers out there that are waiting in the wings to provide some live uh, trading capital, um, they may want to say, hey, we want to go high frequency trading uh, type or have some kind of solution that's HFT. So in parallel, I have somebody who's helping me out analyze different FPG, FPGA options, which is namely in Simulink and the uh, HDL, the hardware description language, whatever board we go with, is done in uh, HDL. And with Simulink and the HDL coder, you can easily, so you shouldn't say easily, but you can translate the code from a visual representation of a simulating model. Now, where does that leave us with these independent self-contained uh, frameworks? The powerful thing about simulating is you can easily encode uh, MATLAB functions. 
So for instance, if you look at any of these functions, like with these M scripts, each one of these is its own self-contained MATLAB M script file. What does that mean? Basically that means it's not using any other dependency other than what's in this framework. It doesn't depend on any of the other uh, external, I call them external, non-core toolboxes. So for instance, it's not going to be using anything from the econometrics. It's not going to be using anything from the financial or statistical uh, frameworks or toolboxes that MathWork has. Now there's a reason for that is because Simulink, which pretty well uses the MATLAB coder toolbox to co-generate into C or C++ or even HDL, they don't support those type of uh, toolboxes. Again, statistical, economic metrics, finance, all those. They're not supported during the co-generation process. So that's why I like to look for these type of um, these type of uh, M functions, which can be its own separate um, algorithm, I guess you could call it. Now, some of these are really good. Do, do they actually work or not? Um, that's something I'm, at this point, it is a concern, but it's not my priority. What I'm more concerned about is getting actual um, uh, algorithms and, and strategies working and get them uh, basically up and running uh, via either you know C++ or using uh, the HDL coder. So that's where we're at. Now the other key thing is that a lot of these frameworks are, are well, well documented. So let me just show you what I mean here. Uh, so for instance, uh, if you come under here into the Google code where this uh, uh, BNT is found from, the BayesNet toolbox, you'll find that the documentation is quite good. Um, it gives you a brief introduction, what B uh, Bayesian is, uh, and all the different types of um, uh, de decision, I guess call them uh, decision generative models. Now, for those, there, there, there are just dozens of them. Uh, as you can see, Gaussian, HMM, uh, different derivatives of all these. Um, some of these are actually used for high frequency trading. They're, it's very advanced stuff, but Bayesian is part of that, or this cover is part of uh, this BNT. Um, so there's this explanation in there, as well as there's some really good uh, documentation as well, and it's very, very uh, detailed here, as you can see here, um, that will walk you through everything in the MATLAB code, as well as some other um, projects that are out there using this stuff. So all in all, uh, it's a great framework from what I've seen so far. Uh, as well as um, there's some other uh, example code uh, in MATLAB using Bayesian uh, here and here, but I don't focus on those because you know now that I have this framework, I see no reason to use anything else if it works. So I'm sure this is good. <coughs> Excuse me, but that. <laughs> Excuse me, um, but that but that um, is in itself um, self-contained. Seems to be working pretty good and documented fairly well. So um, back to the code, back to MATLAB we go. Um, so if I move into the BNT, uh, uh, into the BNT, uh, let me hang on, let me just uh, see the BNT. Hang on here, let me see where I'm at. Uh, yeah. uh, just do this. <coughs> Maybe even better to do this. Yeah, this is the directory I want. Alrighty, so with that in mind, uh, you'll see here that it has a, uh, a BNT uh, function that you can just test to run it. And I'll go through the entire um, framework and run it. And let me just show you that. BNT, BNT, no, test. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add everything to the path. So, so this, is, this is a key. Um, make sure that you've added the BNT uh, the uh, folder to the path of MATLAB 
internally in, in the workspace environment so that should work now so if I go back to where my um, test BNT was test Diana test B and T so off it's gonna run and it's just gonna run all the different uh, functions within uh, MATLAB or sorry within this framework and uh, it, it, when I look at all the the uh, documents that I've listed uh, this framework contains a lot of those functions um, algorithms like Gibbs and HMM all popular stuff so this framework seems to include all that so there it is it's run so uh, it's run successfully so everything seems to work okay and also um, if you come under here uh, there was a place for learning I guess these are different examples so it includes the MCMC um, and some other cool stuff uh, examples I mean it's 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 a monster of a, of a framework a lot of efforts definitely um, been put into it but it doesn't stop there where you get on top of that um, all these other um, uh, functions as well that are I guess dependent on you get the Kalman here uh, and some other stuff as well might not be useful for financial purposes there's the HMM um, some graphing and some other cool stuff so um, I'm just trying to find the help so there's this net help as well so you do get um, an index of uh, uh, of all the available functions this is just one of the uh, APIs just got to find it right here so yeah so you get a full on uh, full on uh, set of examples uh, it's it's quite good um, and uh, it looks pretty easy I would say easy to work with but uh, it's pretty complete so I just want people to know where we're going and this this seems to be another framework I can use for the eventual Simulink and uh, the other thing I must note is uh, uh, I have looked at the Bayesian uh, help descriptions a lot of the examples I've also included earlier and other uh, examples are, are using the same uh, examples listed under Bayesian so they're already done under the MCMC and some other stuff as well so uh, I'm sure there's some stuff I've left out um, but it, it is quite uh, quite daunting to get into this um, but uh, just wanted to let you know of what's available just some of what's available really but this framework looks really good this BNT all right so I just want to introduce people to that um, and again hopefully down the line you'll see an implementation of this in a live trading environment or at least a live data but with a simulated uh, trading decisions so this is pretty advanced stuff just so you know talk to you later